Hi everybody. So I'm out here um, at a stand we call The Barn. Um, this is the first time I'm going hunting on my own without dad or mom with me, so it's my first solo hunt. I have my Matthew Prima set up here. Everything's ready to go. I'm hoping to get a doe or a buck or an, an axis. I don't know that I'll see axis. So I'm hoping to get something. Um, I'm super excited to take y'all along with me. Last night I shot a doe. Um, we went out and tracked her. Didn't find any blood. Um, it was she was squirting towards me, so it was kind of a low shot, and I got a little bit of gut in there. So um, we didn't find any blood. Some gut. We did find a little bit of. Um, matter from her guts on the, f the ground but nothing to lead us to her um after our hunt this morning dad and i went out there and the buzzer to have found her we did find her she was i got her but it was a little bit low and she was quartering to me not away so angles matter um and then this morning we went out we didn't see much we saw a, a, a doe really early but um didn't get a good shot on her and then after that nothing really came out so dad is out on a quad pod somewhere on the lease. <laughs> I don't know where, um, but I'm here by myself and I'm hoping to get something and I can't wait to take y'all along with me. Let's hope, let's see what we get. arrow hit. Didn't go all the way through. Watched her run about probably a hundred yards and then lost her over the ridge. But I know what direction she went. Hey guys, so I don't know if y'all can see me super well. Um, I'm still, I'm here at um, the end of my hunt at the barn. I had um, a few different deer come in, so it was pretty slow. Okay, so it was pretty slow, um, up until about, what time is it? Up until about 6.30, so 30, 40 minutes ago, um, I had a fork horn or a little buck with little horns come out, and I didn't want to shoot him. They have a chance of getting bigger, so I've just been kind of watching him. And, um, there's a high fence back behind me in the middle of the property, um, and there have been a group of white-tailed playing back there, um, having a ball, uh, 
and I was just upset because they weren't coming over here and I saw them, they were in shooting range, but it was a high fence and they're behind me, it just wasn't happening. Um, but then one of them got through this little hole in the fence and, or she was walking around that little hole in the fence for about 15 minutes and I kept like, come on, like in my mind I was like, come on, come out, come out. And finally she did and she was over here and she was kind of skittish of the black butt, or not the black butt, the, um, the little buck I had out here and she was staying on the outside. I couldn't get to her, she was too far. And then I had a family of black bucks. I don't know if black bucks travel in families, but it was a male and a female and two little ones. So they were playing in the woods back there and then they came around over here on this road area, or this open area to my right. And they were eating and playing and stuff and they kept scare, scaring my uh, deer off. I did draw once and it was a little loud, I think. I'm not sure what happened, but it kind of spooked my deer that were in front of me. Um, so I didn't get a shot. I just held my thing, my bow back while they, I held my draw while they were um, looking at me. And when they finally stopped looking at me, I let down and I calmed down and gave them some time. Um, the buck was a lot more um, willing to come out, but finally the doe came out and gave me a decent shot, um, and I took it. I drew back when she was facing broadside, and then right when I drew back, she turned away from me, and as soon as she turned back broadside, I shot, um, the arrow didn't go all the way through. Not sure if I hit something or what, but it didn't go through. It hung out while she ran. They both ran out in the woods back here. I saw her run she stopped and then she'd run a little bit more and then she stopped and kind of wavered and then ran a little bit more and then I watched her run back over this ridge over here. Um, so dad and Kelsey and mom are on their way to come help me find her. I watched where she went. I know the last place I saw her. I have a video. I can't watch it. I'm not sh This video camera is new to me. Like I said, I don't know if y'all can even see me right now. Um, but I videoed her running. I kept an eye on her. I kept the video on her, I believe. So hopefully dad can figure out how to do the videographer stuff of looking into stuff. We'll see. Um, I'm going to work on it a little bit more after I'm done filming this. But I did shoot. I'm hopeful with the shot. Um, she did run quite a ways. Probably, probably a good hundred yards so far that I can tell. Don't know where she went when she got over the ridge. I don't know if she fell. I don't know if she went further. Um, hopefully she fell. Uh, but I shot. I'm gonna stay hopeful. We're gonna see what happens. Everyone's on their way. And I can't wait to update you, hopefully. I've already talked to y'all a lot about what happened in the stand, but I'm gonna re yeah. recap because it, yeah. So I had this doe come out around 6.30, 6.40, and um, she was very skittish of the spike I had out there with me. Um, she kept staying on the outside, not getting in my shooting lane. She was staying to the left of where I could. I had a family of black bucks to my right that was also giving her a little bit of a scare. Um, and then I drew back and scared her off when I drew back. So thankfully she came back in. She gave me another shot. I drew back and she turned away from me. So I had to hold it because the spike was looking at me. And then she turned around and I took my shot. When we got out here, we just started looking for blood. I had an idea of where she went after, because I watched her really close when she left. Um, but we found a good deal of blood right at the beginning, Dad did. Um, and then we just kind of followed it back. She went a good ways. We lost blood there for a second, found some more, and then it led us right to her. She was laying here in the field. My first shot was my new Matthews Prima. I'm super excited, I love this bow. I broke my arrow, sadly, but that's okay. I'm so glad y'all got to come along on this journey with me. Bye. <laughs> Wait, can we film that? Now I feel bad. I didn't tell them things. Bye, guys. Love y'all.